you're going to find when you find your tribe, your spiritual tribe, that it is a really amazing and cool thing. This interesting phenomenon happens where you start to really be able to become aware of a connection on a quantum level. You feel at home. It feels very familiar, although at first it may feel very uncomfortable to you because you're moving into a new energy and people are coming to you that are aligned with that energy. It may be very different from your old uh, group, maybe your, your family, your old group of friends, or whatever that may be. But this new group is going to come to you. And by being available and continuing to work on yourself and clear all of that old baggage, you are saying to the universe that I am ready to attract in individuals and even multidimensional beings that are ready to interact or engage with me or become part of my experience because I am expanding in consciousness. So you may be going through that right now, and it is a monumental, amazing shift. People are going to start coming to you. They're going to experience and feel your frequency. It's going to be a match. They're going to kind of come out of nowhere. So it's best at this point in time that you start to make yourself available for those types of connections in those types of interactions. That's operating now from a quantum level. You're operating less from a do it through force, Newtonian physics type of a methodology, which you've probably done for years, for a long, long time. We're trying to create things by force. And now you're creating by energetic, uh, energetically, right? You're just attracting the pieces to you, which come in the forms of opportunities and other individuals, new relationships, New, maybe new career, new uh, awakening to how you can become a healer and maybe even a coach and help other people. And then you start to open up to being able to perceive and experience your guides. So you're going to come up to a doorway where you're going to be asked to leave some of that old baggage. I talk about baggage, but it's like that old weight behind, meaning old mindset old programming, old limiting beliefs. doesn't mean you have to walk away from people in your life that maybe no longer resonate with you, but it means that you show up in a different light and in a different way. Because when you show up as a new you, you start to broadcast a message, an energetic signature that says, hey, I am ready for more expansive and new experiences. And others will respond to that. The universe will respond your guides will respond. They will come in closer and make themselves more known. You will start to connect with other individuals. You realize you're kind of on the same wavelength. You'll have almost a little bit of a telepathic uh, connection happening there where you're always connected on a quantum level. This happens a lot, but you're going to be more aware of it, right? This is just part of that expansion. In a new you the other day in my new you program, I had a vision come to me, and that vision was then, uh, it turned out that other people in the group during the training had a similar vision as well. A thought had popped into their head, not at that moment, but before the training, or maybe even the day before. I think one of them had it in a dream, right? And here we are on a live training. This vision pops into my mind, and two of them step forward and say, you know, that popped into my mind too recently. I became aware of that. So we are operating on a similar bandwidth of consciousness, a similar frequency, which involves creating or co-creating these experiences. So we see those types of magical events as a validation of the expansion and of the quantum connection. So when you stop like looking and using your five senses to try to navigate this world, you tend to then release yourself from the ties of a 3D timeline, which is very physical in nature. You start to rely on your third eye. You start to be able to step into your solar plexus. You become confident. You become worthy. You get energy moving through here. It comes up in your heart. And you start to look around you and you start to experience love and compassion for simply being. And you can get to that simply being by recognizing and letting go of those old programs, those emotions that tied you or anchored you to a lower frequency timeline. When you can be able to look at that and accept that because that was a path that you went down to get you to where you are today, you could start to feel the love for the journey. 
And once you get into that heart space, your field expands immensely and you start broadcasting this wavelength, this energy of I am ready to take that monumental next step or level up in my growth. Bring to me those who are ready to fully support me and assist me and co-create with me and you will see that your multidimensional experiences will start manifesting more readily, more on demand, even more randomly. You'll just be available to start to notice them. They are there. Your guides, communication will start to come through. You will start to be able to experience from a state of stillness the next step in your journey. You will no longer have to rely on your ego trying to figure it all out from an old outdated playbook. You will have access to that infinite quantum field, that unified field, that zero point field, which holds all the information that's ever been generated. It's simply there ready for you to be able to remember to tap into it from that state of stillness, from that heart space portal. You'll be able to lean into that energy and discover a path that is in alignment with your journey, with your soul purpose. That's how purpose starts to come forward, right? This information comes up into the heart. It shoots up through the throat. You start manifesting into the third eye and you start being able to perceive that guidance. What is it all for for you? What does it all represent? What do I want? Comes up into the brain, into the crown, and you start to be able to make decisions that are in alignment with that because you've discarded that old outdated playbook and you are now operating from a quantum playbook, a limitless playbook. You fully trust you fully embrace and you have compassion and love for the journey that you have navigated up until this point. Even though that journey may not have felt so good, it got you to where you are today. It served a purpose. I'm going to ask you, can you feel compassion for that? Despite all the mistakes that you think you may have made along the way, maybe some decisions that you judge as being bad, can you have compassion for that old aspect of you right now that led you to where you are today. Find that sense of compassion. Find that love for all aspects of you. Find that peace. Find that stillness in the heart space that is a doorway to open up to that multidimensional you. When you get into the heart, you slow down time. You bring more consciousness, more gravity into your physical body. You become more present in time slows down. You're no more in that frantic, anxious mode. Your nervous system relaxes, and that allows for all of this new energy, this energy that was previously tied up in your mental field, to become available to you to utilize. Just becoming still, finding that sense of peace, and feeling the love for the journey that you've navigated up until now. It like blows that doorway open through that heart space portal into that multidimensional you and those who are ready to assist you in co-creating your amazing new reality will start to step forward. Just like what happens in my new you program. We come together, we create this bandwidth of energy, of frequency, and everyone goes through these expansive uh, layers, these expansive levels as they level up into new higher frequency timelines. It's so magical to see. It's even more magical to be a part of that. That is your tribe. When you find those who help you or assist you just by being together in elevating to that next level, you found your tribe. You are right where you need to be. So it's time for you to start to call those people to you, what resonates with you, right? Feel that in your heart. Feel that. That's the broadcast. That's the signal that, that goes out into the quantum field that attracts those who are in alignment with you. And they will come. And when they come, you embrace them and you trust that you are all part of this journey together and you're going to co-create moving forward. By co-creating, it could be as simple as supporting each other. It's your new tribe. I work with so many people who are just searching for that tribe, for that commonality, for a group of individuals who understand 
where they are and where they've come from. Those people are out there for everyone. You just need to get it in here, bring it in here. Find that stillness, find that love, find that peace for the journey you've taken so far and trust that will broadcast that energy out and those individuals and multidimensional guides will start to come forward into your experience. Once that happens, you realize that you're not going back to the person you had been for all of those years. That person is there. That person is a part of who you are and who you've become, right? They contributed and created, co-created with you to who you've become. And you want to love that person and hold compassion for that person, that aspect of you. Okay, But they are no longer in control. That's your ego, right? You are in control. This new you who is ready to draw in all of the energy, all of the resources that are in alignment with your purpose, with your path, and will fully support you in leveling up and expanding your consciousness. If you are looking for your tribe and you want to jump on a call with me and learn about my A New You program, I would love to do that with you. There is a link in the description of this video.